Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews, where today we're looking at a 2008 Great Harbour GH47 trawler yacht. This is actually the second example that we have that's currently for sale from Eric Kraft of Great Harbour Yacht and Ship Brokerage, and I appreciate the opportunity to be on board and review this yacht for you. At the time of shooting this video, the yacht was for sale in Jacksonville, Florida for $510,000. This boat has spent most of its life cruising the Caribbean and the Bahamas under private ownership and it's been an excellent long range, long distance family cruiser. One of the advantages of this yacht is it measures 47 foot in length with a beam of 16 foot but its maximum draft is only 3 feet allowing you to get access to different bays and shores that most other yachts of this size can't access. Two of the features that make this boat very seaworthy and capable is the fact that a loaded design displacement of £70,000. But it's also the fact that this boat is actually unsinkable. The buoyancy in this boat comes from the core material and the deck superstructure and the hull area above the rub rail. So you can actually put a four foot hole in the hull under the water line and although she'll take on water and she will swamp, she won't sink. And she's also designed not to roll over in those conditions as well. As you walk around the yacht, you'll notice that there's multiple entry access points. There's also the high handrail and the grab rail that you can have, giving you that extra security. As we move towards the stern, you can see that this boat is actually equipped with 12 foot rib with a center console and she's got a Suzuki 30 horse outboard in the back with a four stroke engine and this is mounted on the new soft chocks and she's easily launched with the electric deck crane on board. As we move up to the flybridge this is accessed by the steps from the boat deck and it has two very large folding bimini tops these were replaced in 2020 and this allows for plenty of shade and protection so that your friends and family can enjoy their time on boat. The seating area here is designed for six people around a drop down table and this table locks both in place when it's folded down and also when it's expanded out. From the helm position you've got full engine controls and you've got a bow thruster, you can control the windlass. You've got navigation equipment, you got the VHF radio and you can also control the spotlight as well. As we move our way through towards the bow, you'll see we've got the Portuguese bridge here. There's a lot of storage just in front of here, which is ideal for ropes, fenders, power cords, things like that. And we've actually got two anchors on this one with the windlass, and that includes the Maxwell 1500 dual chain windlass and 300 feet of all chain road on each side. The master stateroom you see here, it features a center island queen size berth and this has got an elation memory foam mattress. 
There's storage throughout, including the large twin hanging lockers, and there's drawers and lift up pillow linen storage, and there's even drawers and storage underneath the bed as well. Our stateroom is en suite and it includes a lighted vanity and sink as well as a shower and heads. So move our way aft on the starboard side there is the guest heads or the day heads and this includes the shower, toilet and the sink as well. One thing I found impressive with this boat, being a long range cruiser, is there is storage everywhere you can possibly find. They've utilised every last ounce of space that they could, including this cabinet and the main passageway. As we move astern again, on the port side is, is where you'll find a galley and a dinette area. And this has a six person table, which actually folds down to become a queen size berth if you need it to be. As to the galley itself, this has got what feels like home appliances on board rather than what you'd expect to find on a boat of this size. You've got a large microwave, convection oven, you've got a double sink, you have got the drawer style dishwasher, four burner radiant cooktop, there's plenty of storage and there's even a 23 cubic foot double door refrigerator freezer. This just helps to allow better accommodation when you're doing long distance cruising. And if you notice all the drawers and cabinets here, they all lock in place just to make sure everything stays safe and secure regardless of the weather and sea state. Opposite the galley is the utility room. And this has got both a washer and a dryer as well as a trash compactor. It's got a butcher block workbench, there's storage and there's even a door access to the engine room. The utility room also is where you'll find the fuel polishing system. There's a water maker, there's a generator start panels, and all the full boat main electrical panels are here. The engine room is accessed through the utility room. There's also a large hinged hatch in the saloon sole. And this has got plenty of room for doing all your main engine checks and routine maintenance. And the yacht is powered by twin 75 horsepower Yanmar engines. And these have got somewhere in the region of 1450 hours each and she will cruise at 8 knots and in doing so she'll give you a range of over 3000 nautical miles and she's got 1300 gallons of fuel, she's got approximately 300 gallons of fresh water and there's a 250 gallon holding tank. If you look around the engine room you'll see that all the main seacocks, all the main gauges, everything like that, the filters, they're all easily accessible both for routine maintenance and also an emergency if you need them. And as we move back aft, um, this is where you'll find a large saloon. And this feels like more like you're walking into a living room in a house or an apartment rather than being on a yacht. Um, the seating you see here on the port side, this actually converts on where just now you see it where you can sit six to eight people. It actually converts and the table expands out and this becomes a king size berth. Opposite this there's a large flat screen TV and this includes the KVH direct TV satellite system as well as plenty of storage um, for any types of appliances you want, DVD players, things along those lines. The large windows help make this area very bright and accommodating. You don't have that sense of claustrophobic that you sometimes have when, when you're on yacht. As we 
move up a few steps here. This is actually a watch cabin, which is great for long passage making. You're right behind the main helm, and so you're close to all the alarms and alerts and things like that. And this cabin is actually en suite with its own heads. As we move up to the cockpit, you can see we've got the full bank of navigation equipment here, engine controls, bow thruster, you can control the windlass and the spotlight and things like that. You've got plenty of visibility here from the large windows and also being at the elevated height, you can get excellent visibility. And there's a seating area behind allowing you to keep your friends and family close whenever you're out at sea. I'd like to thank you for your time in watching this video. I'd like to thank Eric for the opportunity to be on board. I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks.